So who here likes all-you-can-eat buffets? Clap your hands. Well, listen up, because you could be putting your family at risk and not even know it, because food begins to grow bacteria if it's left out for anything longer than two hours. So we actually decided to put some of your favorite foods to the test, things like brie, fruit, salads, chicken, even sushi. Now, none of the food was touched after it was plated. We just let it sit, and we swabbed it after a few hours for bacteria. And here's what we found, and we're gonna start, Dr. Lisa, with salad. With the salad, well, you know, they did find some bacteria, but actually, most of it was fairly harmless. So the salad's fine as long as you put your uh, dressing on the side. So salad good, but maybe not such good news for sushi lovers, Jim. Not at all. Oh, this no. sushi. Oh, don't <laughs> sorry, tell me this. Sorry, you guys. Do not after, tell me this. <laughs> after just a couple of hours, this stuff was teeming with bacteria. We found bacteria that could cause food poisoning, um, pneumonia, sinus infections, even some viral infections if you have a compromised immune system. And then, get this, we found bacteria that you would find in sewage. Mm. Mm. Not good. Oh. Yeah, so you gotta make sure this, is, this stuff is kept cool and cold and refrigerated and eat it while it's still fresh. Yeah. All right, well chicken does a little bit better. You do get some growth though of bacteria in these these uh, cooked chickens that you see in the grocery store, better choice, pick the ones that have been wrapped, pick ones that come out fresh, that have just been cooked, not the ones that have been sitting out for several hours. And, and the last one, let me hit upon really quickly, Lisa, are the dips. Oh. So this is guacamole. And the guac didn't do so good. Oh, this grew no. out something called Enterobacter. It's a type of bacteria related to E. coli. And it can cause infections in folks. And when it comes down to how do you protect yourself, so avoid, if you can, if it's been sitting out for a while, things that spoil quickly, meats, mm -hmm. fishes, dairy products, those yeah. tend to spoil more quickly. The dips, one little double dip can oh, transfer yeah. mm -hmm. 10,000 bacteria. No so double So that's dipping. all it takes. You're safer with a green salad mm -hmm. instead of potato salad. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be safer with a vegetarian roll rather than say a spicy tuna roll. So Lisa, when it comes down to it, You've taught us all that there's more to the food than what we maybe have first meet the eye. Yeah. yeah. You have to look at the labels, and this is how it changed me. You know, we're always told, think about what you eat. But it's always in context of diet, you know, losing mm -hmm. weight or, or a, you know, counting calories. But this is a whole different level. This is think about what you eat in terms of toxins, in terms of pesticides, in terms of what we were talking about with potato trips and acrylamide. This is for our health and for the health of our children, you know, future generations. You have to be smart. Lisa, this is such a great investigation. Thank, Thank you for you. traveling to four different cities and bringing us such a comprehensive report.